Cecilia Brackhouse has had a professional career that spans over 16 years. After 10 successful fights, Cecilia challenged for her first world titles in 2009 the vacant WBA and WBC welterweight titles, where she won on a unanimous decision where all three judges scored the contest 98-92. to Four months later, Cecilia defended her title successfully for the first time, and then in 2010, Cecilia added the WBO to her collection after defeating Victoria Cinerus. Cecilia then had an impressive 11 title defences, across four years. In 2014, she went on to defeat Ivana Habazin to add the IBF belt to her collection, becoming undisputed welterweight champion. Still undefeated and now the new It was in 2016 that the IBO belt was also added to the collection after defeating Chris Namus. Cecilia held all five belts for four years. In that time, she had eight successful title defences. By 2020, Cecilia had racked up 37 career wins. She travelled to seven different countries to fight and was regarded as one of the best female boxers of all time. An impressive career in a time where women's boxing was incredibly underappreciated and undervalued. It was in the summer of 2020, Cecilia headed to Tulsa to defend her titles against Jessica McCaskill. At the time, Jessica McCaskill had a record of eight wins and two losses. One loss she suffered early on in her career, with the second being against Katie Taylor when she challenged for the WBO lightweight title. After the Katie Taylor fight, Jessica moved up a weight division and she became super lightweight champion by winning the WBC title. And in 2019, Jessica added the WBA super lightweight title to her collection and successfully defended both titles at the end of the year. Even with Jessica being a world champion at the time, she was a massive underdog going into the fight due to her lack of experience compared to Cecilia Brackhouse. However, Jessica McCaskill shocked the boxing world in Tulsa when she defeated the first lady of boxing with a majority decision. Judge Karen Holderfield has the bout even, 95-95. Judge David Sutherland sees the bout 97 93 and judge gerald ritter sees the belt 97 94 for your winner by majority decision and new directly after the fight cecilia had hinted to the potential of retiring and i have to say i don't know what's going to happen right now but i'm incredibly i'm so proud to be part of women boxing right now if yes. if this is my last fight i can leave women boxing and just say that you know i was a part of this i was a part of taking women boxing to this level and that will be my biggest achievement at all uh, of all however a few months later cecilia did execute the rematch clause and it was seven months later when the pair took to the ring again this time in dallas jessica mccaskill once again had defeated cecilia brackhouse however this time it was even more convincing. The scorecards reading 110 to 89, 99 to 90, and 98 to 91. Years to be there for, for excuse me, for Brekus. And what a fight this has turned into, ladies and gentlemen. It was after this fight that things went quiet for Brackhouse. Rumours were swirling around about retirement. However, the following year, in 2022, Cecilia announced her return to the ring, where she would face Patricia Berkelt who at the time held the WBC super welterweight title. However, the whole show was pulled due to J-Lo and Ben Affleck having a honeymoon. Yes, that is true. It was now December 2022 when Cecilia did make her return. She had a six-round fight where she won every round. Leading up to that fight, Cecilia had made it clear she wasn't returning to the ring just to fill in the numbers. She was after the big fight and wanted world titles. And come May 20th in Dublin, she has the big fight against Terry Harper and the opportunity to become a two-weight world champion. 